Hello everyone, so for today's video we are starting off the spooky season, finally. It's about a week before my birthday, and of course the universe has blessed me with Halloween. If you haven't seen the Code Orange, which is what everyone online is calling Halloween spooky season is here now, the at-home store does have a lot of items coming out. Some areas more than others. I must admit there are many things that I've seen in other locations across the United States from people online. They're not in my store yet. But I did see some stuff at mine that I did not see at others. So I didn't film as much as most people would do when they were out and about. I didn't do a whole lot of filming when I was at the store because I wasn't even sure I was going to find anything. And then when I did, there was a lot of people <laughs> in the Halloween area. I was not the only one who was like, <gasps> spooky time. So I didn't want to infringe on their shopping experience by being like, don't mind me, I'm going to just record everything. So. It's not probably the world's greatest of quality, but this is just what my store had, so I wanted to share that. I really wasn't sure I was even gonna find anything because it just looks like summer. <laughs> like all of the Halloween was like down rows at the ends, not even where you would typically start walking. They had more 4th of July and summer and beach and that theme, not spooky time because, you know, July. But without further ado, let's show the little bit that I did record. So I did actually forget that I had this to edit. So we found an old video that I had planned. So this is editing me doing some voiceover. So hello. So when I had gone, this was early July. It is now the end of July when I'm recording this. So we do have a lot more in the stores, but at this time, early July, we just had a little bit. I really wasn't even sure that we were gonna have anything in the stores, but thankfully I did finally find the section. So the Halloween section was looking really pathetic when I came in. Of course, early July, Code Orange hadn't gone into full effect. So, you know, I really wasn't even sure there was going to be anything. I thought maybe it was other states because it was like, is there ever going to be anything? And then we finally found the section. So, of course, we start off with the usual pumpkins. I don't really buy too many of these because they're expensive. But there was like these cute little skull candles. Again, there's really not a lot going on here. You can see the papers where there will eventually be stuff, but it's very slim. So now as the season has gone on, there is a lot more, but some of these things you may not be finding in the stores because of the last year. Basically, remember that because of the crazy that was last year, but typically most seasons anyways, if there is something that you like, just grab it. The odds of you refinding it are so slim. Like the odds of like those cups being there, not super high because they've got different products bringing in and it just it tends to be that way that as you start to look for stuff it may or may not have the same things when you go like i said there's a lot more that's been coming into the store and i don't know how much is going to be replaced and so just keep an eye on it if there's something you really really want to get make sure to grab it because it may not be there so there's just a bunch of cute stuff here. I love going to the at-home store. They've always got fabulous Halloween decorations, almost on par with Spirit. I kind of actually like at-home a little bit more because they have a lot more variety for just home decor that you could use all the time. Spirit typically only has a little bit. They mostly specialize in costumes and the animatronics and stuff like that which is great. It has its place, but this is just kind of the most random little kooky items that you can find, and I love it. Perhaps here soon I will go back to the at-home store just to look around and see what new stuff they've got, but we'll see. But for now, here is the last clip I've got. It is some bottles that they had. If you have watched the Gothic Homemaking series on YouTube, you will know that finding jars that are food safe and the lids come off is very difficult, so do keep that in mind when you're looking for these. But this is pretty much the end of my film, so let's jump into the actual haul. Wasn't it glorious? It's not a lot. There's definitely a lot more to come, but we're not there yet. So, in the meanwhile, let's show you what I did find. Because, as everyone will tell you, when you see a spooky item that you want, you buy it. Immediately. Because if you don't, it's probably going to go away. Like, you're, you may or may not find it again. Especially with COVID, we actually asked and kind of was talking about it a little bit with the cashier when we were leaving. And she's like, yeah, if you see Halloween stuff that you want, you need to buy it. We're not planning on getting a lot of stock this year because of COVID and all of the restrictions delayed and limited their ability to manufacture stuff. So don't expect to have a lot of things. So I was like, yeah, that's just kind of how I've always been. But yeah, so I bought everything that I wanted. 
that I could see in sight. So let's get on to it. Obviously, I needed this. I have a dress that I bought many, many moons ago that I'm pretty sure this is gonna match, but this is actually like a pretty legit witch's hat. And it wasn't that expensive, as you can tell. It's $14.99 and I do really love this. Um, at our store, which you saw at the beginning of this video, they actually had it sitting on a pumpkin, which I thought was adorable. I'm gonna be wearing this though, to be honest. For spooky time, I always dress as a witch, stereotypical witch every year. This is more actual witch, in case you couldn't tell. Um, but they also have foam in the inside and that's kind of what's helping to keep this shape. Um, because I've tried to make my own hats and try and make these kind of actually sticks up, but it never stays. And they've got like a plastic in here and then the styrofoam and then stuffing up at the top. So it's got all sorts of fun stuff to keep it shape. But I just, I couldn't resist it. I've seen it in a bunch of videos and I was like, you know, if the material doesn't feel too weird, I'll probably get it. It's a really nice thick material. I love the color. I just, I thought it was so cute. It's just a great piece to just have sitting out as a decoration. Or if you like me, it's gonna be part of your costume this year. I can never have enough cups, so I got more. So I have seen a few people showing off these different kind of stacking cup things that they've had at their stores. I don't know that I've seen this one in the videos yet. I almost missed it. This wasn't even in the Halloween section. It was just like under some random shelf with a bunch of like again, beach summer themed stuff. And at the bottom, this was just chilling. And I only saw one, so immediately I grabbed it. But look at it, it's stacking cups. Yeah, so they're so cute. We've got Witch's Brew, Eye of Newt. What's this one? I can't read it backwards. Uh, spider Venom and Hemlock Root. <laughs> they're so pretty. It wasn't that expensive. That's one thing I love about the at-home store their pricing is pretty good. So all of these cups came to $12, so $11.99. Again, really not bad. Um, decent sized little cups. And on the bottom it says microwave and dishwasher safe. Obviously it's food safe in that case. Always be careful buying some things because some of the stuff, it is just decorative. You shouldn't actually use it, which is dumb, but always check that if you're planning on using it for foods. But this is gonna go live by our coffee pot year round <laughs> because it's just so cute. And yes, I do realize as an actual witch, do I really need to buy the stereotypical witch stuff? No, but I also love Halloween. It's no surprise I became an actual witch. And so yes, I do want my house to eventually just have this minor spooky vibe all year round. I have two skeletons hanging up by our TV all year. They haven't come down. They're still just chilling. <laughs> so this next item, I have not seen it anywhere in the videos yet. I might have just missed one that maybe talked about it, but I saw this, there was only one, and I was like, yep, need it. Look at it. Oh yeah, needed this. It's a wine stopper. I don't drink, but I needed this. <laughs> and also a cork opener thingy. Again, I don't drink really. It makes me super sick, but I needed it. It's so spooky. It's so perfect. Eventually, I would love to have, much like the Lair of Voltaire, just a collection of like spooky items for a kitchen. One day, I've kind of begrudgingly been like, oh, but it's such a cool idea. I don't have friends. I don't have people to invite over to be like, let's have a party and like bring this stuff out. But I just, it's so cute. You also probably saw this, but uh, it is $9.99, so 10 bucks, not bad. So as I mentioned earlier, I am an actual witch. I practice witchcraft, it's fabulous. I always am on the quest for things. Do I need? No. Am I going to buy? Yes. Because if I showed you the rest of my room I'm in right now, it's an absolute chaos because it's all of my witchy supplies that we're trying to organize and I don't know what to do with. So what do I do? I buy more. Oh yeah. This is going to be the centerpiece candle for our Samhain altar because it's so cool. It's just a bunch of skulls stacked. It's a bleeding candle, um, if you can't tell. So the red wax inside, when it melts, it's gonna pour out. I have one of these that I've used previously in a Samhain ritual. I still have it. I haven't finished burning it. One of these days I will. But I just thought this was so cool. Um, they did have a number of these. It wasn't like these other ones where there's only a hand, like there was only one of the wine stopper, one of the cups. There was, I think, three of the hats. 
there was a, like a box of these. So candles, they definitely had more of a stock for. This is only $6.99, so $7. Really not bad. And it just, is that not the perfect center candle for your altar for Samhain night? I mean, seriously, it's so good. And to go along with that on either side, I picked up these. They're just, just bones, candles, yes. They were not that expensive. These were $2.99, also bleeding candles, as you can tell, because the red kind of peeks through. But one thing, if you do buy these decorative candles like this, just burn them. After, you know, if you want them for decoration for a couple years, cool story, but then just burn them because as you put them in and out of storage bins, they will inevitably break. And then like, what are you gonna do? You can't really repair a candle easily, especially decorative ones. And it's just, if you're gonna leave it in the, like some of them, eons ago, one of our grocery stores used to have a really good Halloween section and progressively it's just gotten less and less. But they used to have these figure candles. So I think they had like Frankenstein and a mummy and a skeleton. And I think they had vampires one year. Every year they would have these sets of candles and they were so cool, so decorative and just very pretty. So I would never burn them. I would just set them out every year, different spots, whatever. And then progressively over time, they break, they chip. And you know, the point of a candle is to burn it. So like use them for a few years, but then just plan on eventually burning them unless you keep them like those, they came in a box. So if I would have like decorated with them in a box, maybe they would have lived longer. These are in plastic. <laughs> They're not gonna last for very long. So I'm just like, you know what? Just, just use the cool candles. There's always more, obviously. So next, I did see these, like, I think this morning was the first time I had seen them on the Halloween YouTube lands, but I needed it. It's a tea light holder. Isn't it so cute? Oh my God, normally I don't like to buy things with a lot of glitter because it goes everywhere, <laughs> but I needed it. It's so cute, just a little spider pumpkin creature needed it. And these are not that expensive. It's only $5.99. Maybe it might seem overpriced. I don't care. I need spooky in my life. And you know the song, you can't have one without the other. Oh yeah, I got them both. They're so cute. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put these yet because I am ready to start decorating. Since my birthday is around the corner, why not? It's July, let's just spookify. I'm also kind of planning on just having my room be continuous Halloween. But then I changed my mind and I'm like, I want my living room down here to be spookified all year round. But then I also want a witchy space. So yeah. So I've got to find a spot to put these because I am planning on making my room Halloween all year round because I need that in my soul. I just, I need the spooky time. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys quite yet. This one was the same price again, $5.99, but it's so cute. I just, I know I've got something similar to this that I think I had found at Hobby Lobby before they stopped selling Halloween a number of years ago. And it was like, I think it's a cauldron that you put two lights into, but these were just so cute. Again, glitter everywhere till we die, but it's so cute. And finally, another item that I really haven't seen a lot of people talking about or showing is these. Oh, they're so cute. So. These, unlike a lot of the ones that I have previously bought that actually have the stem to them of a wine glass, they're always plastic. You usually find them at like Walmart or the dollar stores. This is actual glass. I think this is also just like painted glass. It doesn't feel like metal. It just feels like more glass, but like seriously, yes. Now these, again, food safe. It sounds like, cause it does say hand wash only. Um, so again, I guess it's more of the like jars and stuff that you really need to be careful with, but even some plates and things, again, always double check, make sure they're food safe and then to be getting yourself hurt. But I am just so stoked to have this as like either an altar piece of like an offering cup of sorts, but realistically it's probably going to be a writing cup to give me inspiration as I write about my zombies. Um, or I'm gonna have this as not quite like a video prop, but like if I'm prepping for a video or editing or recording, have these just spooky little cups because they're just so glorious. And again, I haven't seen these before in any of the other videos. I'm sure they're gonna start hitting your stores soon, 
Um, they did have another one which I showed at the beginning of this video if you didn't pay attention though. Basically it was just clear and then it said like pumpkin patch and like had a pumpkin raised glass thing. It wasn't painted or anything. This is the only one of this that I saw there. I didn't check other stores because I didn't need to do that yet. <laughs> I don't need to be buying all of the things. Um, this was mostly just a birthday shenanigans that my mom let me do. Um, she was like, just if it calms you, okay, go for it. Um, so I can get that Halloween urge out. Um, but these weren't that expensive. They were $9.99, which honestly, I thought they were gonna, I thought they would be closer to like $20, but they're just, they're so cute. I love them. So that concludes my first Halloween haul for this year, 2021. I am so excited to get to do more. I have a few things that I wanna add to my little village. Um, I think I have two more houses that I have actually have bought that I need to add to my little desk here. But uh, they've got a few that I really wanna get this year. They're just so pretty, I need them. <laughs> There's a lot of really good ones. Um, but I don't know how much other Halloween shopping I'll be doing. I would love to tell myself that I'm gonna limit how much I buy because I don't need to spend a lot of money. I have plenty of Halloween decor. And then every year I end up buying a bunch more. So I'm sure there will be more to come. But in the meanwhile, make sure you are subscribed. I'll try and talk about Halloween as it comes up. Um, also gonna be talking about writing and books and stuff like normal. Um, trying to get a setup kind of figured out over here um, to actually record because again, my house is chaos. So I don't actually have a spot really. I just managed to find an angle where you don't see the chaos as badly. So anyways, thank you so much for coming along for this magical journey of Halloween shopping. And until next time, thank you and I'll see you all soon.